Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. I thank each and every one of you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. I tr it truly means a lot to me. It really helps out my channel here. And also, don't forget about my other channel, Tarot Tales, where I dig into celebrity tea, unsolved mysteries, true crime. Uh, what else over there? Political, news stories, stuff like that. I am separating that content from my normal channel here. Uh, this channel will remain for each zodiac sign, weekly readings, monthly readings, and an extra one here and there. The other channel is going to be digging into more worldly events and celebrities, etc. Okay, so head over there and hit that subscribe button on that channel as well and the notification bell. The link is in the description box below. Okay. Let's dig into your energy. Show me that Scorpio energy, please. Show me Scorpio, whatever their message is this week. Okay, you got man holding a coin. So you have a man who's holding the money. Sometimes that can be a love interest who has some money. Other times this could be a boss. This could be an offering. You know, you could have a man offering you something financial that... This is that has potential. Something that has potential, or you might be looking at job opportunities this week. Um, you know, your theme doesn't have to be around love. I know a lot of people like love, some people don't want love readings. This is just your overall energy, your main focus of what's going on. Let's see. Rest and rejuvenation. Okay. Some of you, I'm getting this energy, especially with the coin and with, this is like King of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very earthy. You could be dealing with one of them signs that is resting and rejuvenating and recovering, which kind of, uh, so, however, this could be being overworked and needing to rest. Some of you are known to be workaholics. When you're passionate about something, you give it 200%. Okay, and there might be a time where you just need to take a step back and relax, uh, restore your own energy. Just saying, okay. Um, others of you, you may have been in a rest mode, maybe unemployed. And if that is the case, there could be a job opportunity coming up this week. Okay, let's take a look at your, your main focus this week. Um this may or may not have anything to do with these up here. You know, uh, there was another reading that I did already for next week that showed somebody having relationship things going on, somebody and work relationship and money things going on. They had a bunch of shit, right? So it's not uncommon to see different theme in the in the tarot. Okay, show me the central theme. Ooh, okay. The Hierophant, more Taurus energy. This is commitment and this is having faith. This it, this could actually be representation of a relationship. Doesn't have to be romantic. Take it as it resonates. This is not a this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate most likely. But this is involving some kind of commitment, being committed in some sort of area to a job, to a person. Okay. This could also be representation of new faith being restored. The Hierophant is the highest in the whole hierarchy. He, he's even above the Emperor. Okay. This could uh, this represents rigid, rigidity, lack of flexibility, following the rule book. Um, this could be, if it's in dealing with work, this could be company policies, company handbook. Yes, a decision being made upon that. We shall see where this is going. Show me. How are they opening, please? The universe, the world. Okay, so this is a cycle that's opening. Uh, I f it could be opening or closing. But the world is a sense of accomplishment and completion. One thing is, is um, completed. And what do you do when something is completed? Then you start something else, right? If you didn't, you'd be sitting on the couch with a TV remote or twiddling your thumbs. So, you know, with with endings, they do, there are new beginnings. 
Okay. Oh, Tower. This is one of your cards here. It's not your the utmost power card, but it represents uh, Scorpio and Aries. Okay. So, there may have been a shocking end with something that you were committed to, whether it is work or a relationship. Okay. That was transformative. Okay. 19 is representation of the sun, which in the major arcana, which is that warmth, and it can be represent nurturing and healing. Okay. Also, 1 and 9 is a 10. 10 is a, something that has come to a conclusion, and there's a new renewal energy of starting over. Ah, two of pentacles. You may be a little bit confused. You may be tossing a couple options around with the chariot of moving forward um, with success. Okay, beautiful. Queen of Cups. There you are, Scorpio. You're trusting your intuition in which direction you are going to proceed. There, Like I said, there seems to be a little bit of confusion about what do I do about this? You kind of had your mind set on a certain path. Maybe unchanging, unwavering. A lot of dedication to a certain path. But it's almost like that world exploding. This could also something being exploding, being busting wide open is what I'm hearing. Something busting wide open that may break down certain expectations and break down that rule book. It's like, Fuck the rule book. It's getting tossed out the window. In the process, you're kind of left like, well, now I toss the rule book out. What do I do? And what direction do I need to move in? That rest and rejuvenation here is also a representation of meditation. You want to follow your sun energy. You want to do something that makes you happy in life that is satisfying or be with somebody that provides a type of energy towards you. But you're kind of flip-flopping here and trying to decide what direction do I go. That is the energy, the vibe I'm picking up for you. Okay, let's dig in. Let's clarify. Show me this universe, this world card, please. Show me this world card. These beginning cards can be the beginning of the week, but that's not exactly how I follow the timeline here. This is more like, like what hit the history that led into this is usually describes this. That is the central theme, and this is where you're headed. Okay, so let's see where this is going. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles again. So there seems to be a change, a drastic change in the home. <coughs> Excuse me, in the home life. So whatever it is that uh, you may have been comfortable, but this is a new phase. This is about, a, a, there could have been a shakeup in your foundations and your stability. Or you could be dealing with a nurse sign. There is such strong earth in here, strong Taurus especially. Um, the Fool. Yeah, that is a new beginning. Taking that leap of faith. There could be a leap of faith that comes out of the blue that is shocking. Or something that requires a leap of faith. And it does involve your comfort zone. Okay? Needing to step outside your comfort zone. You are a fixed sign, Scorpio. You're not as bad as Taurus. But you are at a fixed sign. That stepping outside the comfort zone. I mean, you're in it to win it. You're in it for life. You're dedicated. It's hard to break a tie with you. Once you when you have your mind set on something. But there, I feel that there is something here that is causing you to change that. We do have the Three of Pentacles here. This very well could be work-related. Something happened 
in regards to your finances and in, in regards to your work. Uh, this in love relationships, this is representation of the friendship, the springboard into something else. For those that are not interested in the financial aspect of shit, this is rep this could be representation of a friend zone that suddenly changes, or it could be the opposite, a can a love connection that you end up in the friend zone that doesn't go anywhere, or kind of like downgrades. It could go either way depending on who you are and your situation. For a lot of you, I feel like that there is a friendship that is that m that might be what is causing the confusion. You might be. Some of you Scorpios are already committed. But there's a shock, a shock factor that happens that leaves this confusion. It kind of tosses you back and forth at, of which direction do I go. There seems to be something here of a decision this week. The sun. Healing. This was you trying, you were t trying to nurture a friendship, a collaboration. Whoever you're dealing with, <clears throat> so far I am not seeing a deep love here. I'm seeing commitment. Yeah, you could be in a commitment. You could be in a relationship where there's very little emotions expressed. Okay. Um, for others of you. I'm feeling more that work related, but I'm trying to relate it in both aspects of life. You know, the friendship feels good, but that's all that it is. Or there's a, there has been a big change in a friend, in a friend relationship. Friend zone that brings you happy, a big sudden change. Others of you, this could be a sudden offer to work for somebody and I'm feeling for a majority of you instead of love and relationships this is going to be about work and finances so take it as it resonates show me the Hierophant some of you might be signing a contract this week Ten of Cups that's happy and bliss. Something's making you very happy that is feel, fulfilling you emotionally. That's good. Two of Wands. Decision. Keep getting this choice and this, this decision. I swear that there is a shock out of the blue that you did not see coming. A friendship that is taking on a new life. And I feel that's what most of you are dealing with. A friendship, a cooperation. We get along. We have same interests. We have interesting conversations. You know, a very solid friendship. The Three of Pentacles is the first sign in the tarot of stability. It is the springboard into something else where that chariot comes in. This is the confusion. Which direction do I go? Your heart might be pulled in two directions, folks. My dear Scorpios, your heart might be torn into two directions. Where are your commitments lying? A decision. There is a connection here, and I feel it's coming out of the blue this week, that it's going to make you feel joyous, happy, warm. That warm, fuzzy feeling in a friendship that you know has potential to go in. And to the new level and the next chapter and the next stage. But there's something here about a commitment that is a question and you're at a crossroads this week. Okay, show me this two of pentacles, please. Eight of swords. You're, you're confused. You are really confused about what you want to do. Five of Wands. Internal struggle is leaving you very confused. Okay, Scorps, Scorpies, my dear sweet Scorpios.
We're going to see what the chariot has to say, but there is confusion on which what direction you want to move forward in. Do I move forward in this new connection or do I stay where I'm at? There's something about, uh, and I'm not, because these are short videos, I'm not going to go into what the issue is with your commitment. But, okay, suspension here. You're, you're suspending the energy of moving forward until you figure shit out. That's, I cannot fault you for that. I have to agree. You can't make a decision out of haste. Impulsive decisions are a no. You have to think it out. You have to decide. You, you are looking at all angles. But... As I was starting to say, this video would be way too long if I dug into your into your hair fin energy. That's going to be re um, representation of for something different for different people. Page of Cups, Two of Swords. You're blocking any kind of emotional communications and connections at this time. You're suspending it. You're at a stalemate. You got two, 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 two's duality. Decisions, balance. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Two of Wands. Where's the Two of Cups? Where is the Two of Cups? Don't shoot the messenger. When I say this, but my guys are just telling me, money plays a role. Whether you are holding on to somebody for the financial stability or you have somebody dangling a carrot, pulling you in, spending money on you, spoiling you, that could be the, a case too. Not that that's negative, but it could go either way. Switch it, reverse it as it applies. But I'm going to leave your reading here. I know it's kind of like a cliffhanger. That happens when you think about your favorite TV show at the end of each episode, or better yet, at the end of a season. They always have a cliffhanger, don't they? This is yours. Because I'm not seeing any kind of definitive decision here. I'm just seeing you suspend and making your decision until you figure out your shit. till you figure out what you want. And I feel it's going to be a lot of deep introspection. It's almost like, is it going to be love or money? That's what I'm kind of figuring. Don't shoot the messenger for that. Scorpio. This is unlike you. Most Scorpios will go for the love. But it depends on what's in your chart. I'm speaking to a Scorpio today that is very dependent on finances. That's very dependent on stability. Okay, so the emotionality is not fully there. But I have a stable life. I have a roof over my head. I have everything that I want. I don't have to worry about where my next meal is coming from. I'm just saying, somebody's looking at the stability, the establishment, the roots. You got something new, shot that is a friendship that is taking a whole new, taking on a whole new dimension here. And you're faced with a dilemma this week. What am I going to do? I don't know what I want. Your heart knows what it wants, but you're kind of blocking that emotion out right now. But there is the need. Hangman. Meditation. There's a need to look at the di different perspectives and take your time. Okay? Nothing impulsive. I'm going to leave you there. And I will see you in the next reading. Love and light.